So the point then of the sorting example uh, was uh, that, well, we, we, we saw that this particular arrangement of uh, sorting components, each component can sort only two things, but we're trying to sort four things. And we saw that this sometimes doesn't work. But the question is, did we just get it wrong? Is there any other arrangement of four sort boxes that would sort things? Should we just keep trying with different wiring patterns? Have we got a chance of making a machine that works? But if we think about the process, but well, let's see what happens, right? Let's, let's try and sort, I don't know, two, one, uh, three, and four. And then each time a sort box works, it transmits its inputs to its outputs, but they have to come out in order. That means the sort box decides whether it should swap the inputs or not. So we're trying to get into increasing order. So tell me, should this sort box swap or not? Swap. So we swap. Okay, should this sort box swap or not? Not. Okay, and now we can follow the wires along. That one goes there. That one goes here. Should this sort box swap or not? Not. All right, should this sort box swap or not? Not. So out the bottom, they've come out in the order one, three, two, four, which isn't right. So we've once again checked that this arrangement of uh, two sorters does not make a four sorter. All right, so how do we fix it? Well, the thing that we checked was uh, that uh, definitely one is the lowest, and it doesn't matter where one goes in, it's always going to come out at, at the bottom. And then the, the biggest one is always going to come out at the top. The only thing that can go wrong is that the two in the middle come out in the wrong order. So adding an extra sort box in the middle will fix that up. Now, as we went through that process, I asked you for each sort box, swap or not. I asked you for one bit of information for each box. That was four bits of information altogether. How many things can four bits of information tell apart? 16. But in order to put the numbers in order, we've got to choose the right way to arrange them from the order they start in. We've got to behave differently depending on each possible way they were jumbled up in the first place. How many ways can they have been jumbled up? 24. So we can handle 16 different possibilities, but there are 24 different possibilities to handle. So there's no way it's going to work. No matter how we do the wiring, we're just not generating enough information. Does that make sense? Right. So if we add a fifth sort box, we can handle about 32 different possibilities in principle. That doesn't tell us it's definitely going to work. That doesn't mean any circuit with five sort boxes will work. It just means that it's got a chance of working. And then when we decided we were going to put an extra sort box on the bottom, we had to think a bit harder about how to, how to really believe that it worked. OK, does that make sense? But this is the deal with one minute papers. You tell me what the problem is, and I try hard to sort it out. Uh, and we'll add the video of that segment on with the video of the one from the last lecture. Okay?